Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about how we can filter our Power BI report from the Power Apps drop down. So now, first of all let me tell you the business requirement. So basically I have a come across a requirement where I need to filter my Power BI report based on the Power Apps drop down. Now, how can I achieve this requirement? So first of all, let me show you the very basic and simple concept we, from using that we can easily achieve this requirement which is URL parameter filtering in Power BI. So first of all let me talk about my Power BI report then we will create one drop down in the Power Apps and based on the Power Apps drop down we will filter our Power BI report. Alright and in my first video in my previous session I have discussed about how we can embed the Power BI report to the Power Apps. If you don't have visited that video the links are available in the description box. Visit that video so you will get an idea like how we can integrate the Power BI report to the Power Apps. So I already have integrated my Power BI report to the Power Apps. Now we will move towards the next step that is the URL filtering or a parameter filtering of Power BI from the Power Apps. Alright, so now let's move over to the Power BI report first. So basically this is my Power BI report and I want to create a drop down in my Power Apps for the country. And after that I want to filter the report based on the country. Alright. Now here if we go to the Power BI and check out the data set you can see here we have the financial data sets and here are the different column and the name of the country column that we have over here is country. Alright now let's move over to the Power Apps and now let's add the drop down first. So to add the drop down first we will go to the input option and we will add one drop down over here. The drop down has been added and now we want to add the country item over here. So basically now I am adding the country item as a static but you can also take that as a dynamic. Alright, so you can see here my drop down has been created where I have 5 different countries. Now I want to pass this country value to my Power BI report. Okay, for that First of all select your Power BI report. Now you can see here in tile URL you have added this type of URL. Now after that we need to add one filter parameter over here. So for that we will need to add end person and then we will type filter is equal to. We need to type the data set name and the column name. So if we go to the Power BI report, so we can see here my data set name is financials and my column name is country. My data set name is financials slash country equal to the selected value. So I am selecting value from my drop down. So I am adding here as and person my drop down id is drop down to dot selected item selected text dot value ok so that will consume the data from my drop down hit the enter and now let's check the result so you can see here the current value of the drop down is Canada. So my report has been filtered based on Canada. Now if I select France. So you can see here the data has been filtered beyond the France. Same for Mexico. See. So this is how we can easily filter our Power BI report inside the Power Apps using the URL parameter. So hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question related to this topic, you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me on plus 919537981467. 
If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. Links are available on the channel page as well as in the description box. Also, if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, just click on this link. It will be redirected you to this form. Fill the form and you will be getting the daily notification on your WhatsApp number for my new video. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.